Next task while I clean up is I need to go and get my gooseneck hitch installed back in the truck. Not a dirty job, not a hard job, just a heavy job. So I have a BMW Companion fifth wheel gooseneck hitch. Um, I really like it because I can swap between a gooseneck hitch and this fifth wheel hitch and my truck did not come with puck, hockey pucks to use one of the direct drop ends so this one actually fits straight into the fifth wheel hitch receiver and then has rails that lock it in place. Let's start getting that installed. Alright, my hitch seven, eight months ago, I stored under the RV. Pad locked it up, cabled it up, so I got my lock off. Now, to take this incredibly light and easy to move, sarcasm, hitch out from under a very tight spot, such that I can move it to the truck. Yes, that only weighs 873 pounds. I don't know. But it's fun to move it around on a nice hot sunny day. Go get the truck. Well, that didn't go as expected. I forgot to put all this stuff back here. When you go to the big city, you buy things that can't be found at my little town easily. We don't have a Sam's. Anyone that follows my channel, can you take a guess what this is from? Good enough. This hitch is not light. I am vertically challenged, which makes this tailgate kind of tall. Lifting it up by myself is always oh so fun. That wasn't so bad. So now, what I was talking about, is you'll notice, it's got a main fifth wheel plug. And then little runners. This is okay. Fifth wheels, you can high tower weight, higher tongue weight, higher towing weight, everything went higher in fifth wheel. Not a lot, but it's nice to know that my fifth wheel hitch can haul more than the Excuse me, my gooseneck hitch can haul more than the fifth wheel hitch, so I know that I'm safe in this setup. So we're going to pull this, well, pull the pin under the driver wheel well, drop this in. These are set up so they'll drop right in these grooves and keep it from rotating, and then we've got to torque down the main nut. Make sure the grooves are clean where these are going to sit. There we go. 
That's basically all there is to it. I will unlatch, torque this golden one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, grade eight bolt up to 70 pound, foot pound. Well, they say 60, but the guy that installed this for me said 80, excuse me, 70. So maybe I split the difference. I've always done 70, but since now I'm officially on camera, maybe I should be closer to the advertised spec. Um, but there's this one nut. Then in order, once it's tight, you put that on there and that can't loosen. There's the one pin underneath that we should probably pop that in. My torque wrench will be oh, locked. Guess how many things I use this torque wrench for. Before I go torque this in, I'm going to hop out, put the latch in the pin for the fifth wheel that's in the wheel well. I should no longer be able to lift. Yep, you hear it hit the pin. <laughs> it is, the pin is secure. Let's set our torque wrench up to, we'll, we'll do 65. 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Getting a little close. Sixty five fits perfect. That's locked. Set, always set your torque wrench back to zero before you throw it back in the toolbox. You don't want to leave it stored under tension. Always lock your toolbox such that you have a torque wrench next time you go to get it. There we go. Bam, bam. This doesn't need to be there for right now, but I don't hook up for another five days, so we're just gonna put it like that. This does articulate. It'll rock to and fro, giving me some play. I do love this hitch. I got somewhere between 15 and 20,000 miles on it. Not a hot shot trucker. Not a commercial trucker, not a long haul. I'm a dude that has a 40 foot fifth wheel that is not the lightest thing in the world. And I've got 15, 20,000 miles on this hitch and it has been phenomenal. I love the way it works. I love how reliable it is. It just tows like a dream. My other towing in the past, what limited it was, has always been either bumper or goose. So this fifth wheel has been very nice to me and I like it a lot. I do want to change out the hitch pin, king pin, whatever you want to call it, the fifth wheel pin on the trailer itself to something that's more flexible. It's just a solid pin. Some of them have that, uh, oh, what do they call it? Rotoflex or something like that, where the, you know, this hitch has some sway to it. It'll tilt around a little bit, but um, then you can get a little bit more in the uh, pin itself on the rig and that'll help with the da -da 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 whenever you start going over. Little road in Louisiana, I was down there one time doing a bypass around the south side, going down towards Orange Beach, and uh, whew, I do not recommend that road. I wish I remember what the name of it was, so I'd never go on it again. I was doing 35 and a 60, and there was no, it was washboard. It was the worst road I've ever been on. This helps some, but I'm told that you get sumo springs in the rig, don't have them, I'm looking into it and then upgrade the hitch on the 
rig itself, maybe that helps, but I love this hitch. It's been great. That was the one bad experience, but that road was atrocious. So, hitch in, let me throw everything else back in the truck, and then we'll be on to the next victim. It's a lot of work getting ready to pull out when you've been sitting for about seven, eight months.